Finally, Mr. Speaker, I, I, I want to say that uh, in my many years in Parliament, many, many years in Parliament, I would encourage, from my own experience, that uh, each senator has got his own self-worth. And when you sit or come before the Senate as a parliamentarian, you have your own self-worth. And me, I can never be intimidated in my political life. Can never be intimidated. Because I've seen many people come and go. I've seen many powerful people come and go. I've seen presidents come here and go. I have seen people who, on their word, you would leave this house and you'd be locked in the same day. They have come and gone. I have seen very respected women in this country, like Grace Onyango, who was in the committee for the, tri for the special investigations relating to the dis disappearance of uh, and, uh, Nani, uh, Jem. Yeah, yeah. And that made me, made me very proud because those days there were very few women. And she stood firm. She was required to change a report of the National Assembly. And she stood firm. So I, I want to plead with you. I want to plead with you. We got a heavy task. And if people out there feel you can be intimidated and you've been brought to this house with all the powers that we have, including the trial of a governor. Imagine next time that you may have a motion for the trial of, a, of the president. Will you be intimidated? So I, I, I urge you for the future of this country in the performance of your constitutional duties, never be intimidated. <laughs> And, and, and if my day, if my day comes, if my day comes, I'll accept it. If my day comes, I'll accept it. But my conscience, the way I've been brought up, my conscience, I will never sell it. I will never. Because I know men and women, like uh, the late Serenoy, one of the most brilliant lawyers. He could have lived longer as a parliamentarian. But for his, for his standing for the truth, we are now enjoying some of the privileges. Let us, let us think of these people who sacrificed so much. And in parliament, people like quoting Martin Luther King said so much. Uh, there's another famous French uh, uh, philosopher whom we like... Uh, uh, that, that you may have the right to word to uh, I may disagree with you by Voltaire, that, but I'll, de I'll, I'll, I'll defend you to death for your right to say it. It's so beautiful when you say it, but when that moment comes, we speak a different language. So me, I want to say today, in, in, in defense of what you are supposed to, to do, that however much I disagree with you, but if you are being violated and are sworn to defend the constitution of this country, however much we disagreed, I'll stand up to defend you. I also expect you as a, as a patriot, that's why the word patriot is there in Article 10, that you'll defend me. So let us not behave as a nation of beasts, or we live in the animal world, let us be men of honor and distinction. Men and women of distinction. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I beg to second.